this week, Mum and I are in LA and we're here to rock. We're both going to learn to play guitar for the very first time. Thumbs, thumbs, thumbs. 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 Going to join a rock band. Thumbs McGee! And perform live to a crowd. We've signed up to attend LA's world-famous rock and roll fantasy camp. What are they going to learn us? Teach us. What are they going to teach us? How to become rock stars. Rock t- stars swear, don't they? We'll have a practice. Swear. I want a fucking cup of tea and I want it now! Do you, that... want, do you want sugar with that? I don't want fucking sugar with my fucking cup of tea. I just want it now! Jesus, she changed quick. Running for over 20 years, one of the thrills of the camp is that you're taught by actual rock stars. Like Rudy Sarzo, who played with Ozzy Osbourne, Guns N' Roses drummer Steve Adler, and Paul Stanley from KISS. The enormous task of teaching us from scratch has fallen to legendary guitarist Tracy Guns. We need to figure out rock names. I know, I don't think I'm very good. Do you know the guy's called Tracy Gunn, and it's a man? (laughs) Yeah. So I've thought of mine. Ready? Yeah. Jennifer Sledgehammer. <laughs> Mine's Mike Bike. <laughs> <laughs> Why Mike Bike? I don't know, it just came into my head. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. My bass player. This is Tracy. Hey, Hello, Tracy. Hi. Nice Hi. to meet you. How are you? Tracy is best known for heading up the LA Guns, and his mission is to turn me and Mum from rock zeros to rock heroes in just two days. Oh, nice. I'm going to mold you into just Lucy Goosey. So is Lucy Goosey her rock star name? That's your rock star name. Oh, okay. This is going to be great. great. Come on. They're awesome, man. Thank you. First, we meet the rest of our band, who are mostly amateur musicians who've paid up to $10,000 each to be here. This is Stephanie Sledgehammer. No, 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 Jennifer Sledgehammer, sorry. Jennifer what did I call you, Stephanie? Jane. This is Goosey Lucy, our Goosey. bass player. Hi. Nice to meet you. This is Shane. Uh, what did we decide the name of the band was, Clay? Buster Cluck. Buster Cluck. Buster Cluck, nice. Uh, they all seem nice, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they all seem nice. Well, Hello. hi. How are you guys doing? I'm good, how are you? Great. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Absolutely. You see, you know, rock stars, though. That's the cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> rock and roll is much more than the music. It's about, you know, kind of showing your peacock feathers and, you right. know, letting people know that you're in charge. But you have but you have to have so much confidence in your smugness that yeah, that, it, like, that it's that it's real. I am really this asshole. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm, I'm a right little I'm really this big <laughs> Over the next 24 hours, Mum and I have to learn to play this Eagles track, which we'll perform in concert tomorrow night. I can't do soft rock. You can't do hard rock either. How dare you? (laughs) I'm turned into a rock star, this thing hanging on my... This dick hanging on my... Oh, God. (laughs) Maybe we should call our band uh, Old Chick with a Dick. (laughs) No, I haven't got one, but if I did, I probably would. Probably reveal it from underneath my guitar. Oh, you horrible, horrible, nasty thing. I am, but that's that's rock for you. It's not, that's public nudity. And that's without bass, so imagine how good it's going to sound when you're going dong 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 dong. That's what it was missing. I thought it was missing. It was missing my mum. I don't think I'm going to have to do a lot of prodding with those two. They have plenty of personality themselves, and you know, instinctively they're rock and roll people. I can tell. I found a bit of Keith Richards mojo for you. Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. I looked in my bag for a guitar strap, and I saw my Keith Richards headband. You know, I said, Nanette. Yeah. I think that looks all right. See? Yeah. yeah. Huh? <laughs> you, you're joking. No, it does. It looks good. No, it I looks really good. Cool. All right, then. Here I go, then. <laughs> Hi. Hi there. <laughs> Where do you need me? <laughs> Mum's never played guitar before. Tracy's really got his work cut out. Yeah. Do I got to do it faster, though, really? Yeah. You can do it like that, or... Well, I'm... 
She's mastering the bass, and she's also got her eyes on another instrument. I fancy myself as a drummer. You fancy yourself as a drummer? Yeah. Really? Yeah. There's a rumour going around that you don't use drumsticks, you only use your head. You've got to use sticks. <laughs> <laughs> At lunch, we spot an empty studio. Remember, Mum's never been near a drum kit, let alone picked up a drumstick. So this could be ridiculous. You're good at that. Ah. Yeah. Juicy Lucy. Juicy Lucy. Well, I enjoyed that. <laughs> that was ace. And the jamming didn't stop there. One thing I have learned on this trip. My mom is funny, she's got a lot of lip. When we interview other people, she doesn't say a word and she acts all still like a steeple. <laughs> so why is it when we're in the car you won't shut the fuck up? Because I was thinking, is I didn't think I was going to sleep, but I actually slept, and I slept longer than I did the day before, but I didn't think I was going to, but I did. Well, a I dream I had in the middle of the night. I don't normally remember my dreams, but I did this night, and it was different from the others, so I've forgotten what I was talking about. Can we stop for a tea? That's true. <laughs> Do you want another bump? Bump of what? Cocaine. <laughs> I think it's the, the the fragrance is wafting down from this scarf. That probably is, yeah, but just by touching that, you're probably more stoned than any other human <laughs> being's ever been. One sniff of that, of Keith Richards' rag, that'll be... <laughs> ah, gee... <laughs> How's my face taking care of you? I, I'm... Keith's not the only rock star to have hung out at the rock camp. This place is full of them, including this bloke. Chip's enough. He's about to get his filthy hands on my mum. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's my mum. Hi, Nanette. How are you? Hi. Oh, thank you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to our country. Thank you. So my mum's pretty nervous about performing, yeah. and we understand that you're the man to go to. Well, you know, when you're performing, first of all, being in a rock band is like, it's like theatre, it's a play. Now, if you are going to go on stage, I would fix you up a little bit, OK? Would you? Right. So what I would do with you, I'd put a little guitar on you, stay right there. All right. And then I'd probably put some shades on you, too. She looks a bit like she's stolen clothes. She looks like a girl I'd probably get caught sleeping with. Oh, really? And then let's, just... Let's get you away from her. Of course, most important... You know, when, you know when there's, like, uh, someone has a dinner party and the one of the kids comes down because they've uh, put on all the parents' clothes? <laughs> she sure has that look. You know, I sit at home all day and I would just go, like, practice my triplets, you know? I can feel your triplets. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've just learned what it looks like to see uh, an old man rub his cock against your mum's ass. <laughs> I wonder what that wet bit was. <laughs> I was his penis. <laughs> we're in Chiang Mai in northern Thailand, and we're heading 20 kilometres outside the city to meet some of the scariest creatures on the planet. Anyway, where are we off to today? We're off to a snake farm. Nice. Do you think nice? What cut? Yeah, I don't mind snakes. Oh, I'm terrified. It's just one of those things, like whenever you're touching a snake, it means you're in trouble or you got rent to pay. One of the weirdest things about today is that we're going to see a snake milking. I wonder if I could do it, like catch a load of the little, the teats and go. Well, you'd milk the you would... Like a cow. Hang on, she doesn't actually think snakes have milk-filled udders, does she? The milk parlour ladies, they didn't get smallpox and they, they wondered why, didn't they? And it was because they were milking cows. Or something like that. Yeah, I mean, don't wait for that moment on QI. <laughs> Next week on, of... things I sort of understood and read on Google. <laughs> no. JFK was killed by Martin Luther no, King. I... Buzz Lightyear was the first man on the move. Edward Cullum 
was the first man to discover penicillin. But he was also a vampire. <laughs> Now, I've got a confession. I got back to the hotel and I googled what mum had said and it turns out she was right. I apologise, mother, but snakes don't have tits. They're milked for their venom, not actual milk. The observant amongst you will have clocked what I'm wearing. If a snake kills me today, it's how I want to go. You never milk alone. First up, they're easing us in with a python. Wow, there you go. Hello. Hello, snake. So, Russell, nice this is Mr. Kai, yeah. and he's Hello. our snake expert. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Kai, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, Nigel. Nice Lovely. Nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. My girlfriend. It's your girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. But it's not right, female. Yeah, it's she's looking at me. She kiss? obviously quite likes you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I... The last thing I want is your girlfriend wrapping her legs around me. <laughs> it, seems, it seems improper. You can try. Maybe this your girlfriend right. would rather do some girl-on-girl -girl action. No. Oh, that was a go. nice... Wow, they want to kiss Lovely. I, I don't want to kiss... kiss you. I don't want to kiss Look her. Look at him. Look at him. Lovely. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> OK, you can hurry. It's nice and heavy. Yes. Jesus. Gosh, it's really heavy. It's Hello. Just... Wow. There you go. Gosh, she's a really... She's a big one, isn't she? Yeah. Don't be God scared. Damn. I'm not kissing her, mate. Try, try. No, no, no. Be the lady, you know, be the lady. No, no kiss, no kiss. Ah, Jesus. I'm not sure, kissing sure, her. Sure, I'm not kissing sure her, mate. everybody. I'm not kissing her. This guy's obsessed with tongue and snakes. Oh, wow. Are you scared? Uh, yeah. We, we have uh, cobra and king cobra. Right. This is a King Cobra Jeez. is more dangerous, you know? Yeah. You yeah, cannot catch by bare hands. You've got it's some... It's big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. OK. It's difficult to concentrate. You want to see? I'm sure yeah, you... This is but, a uh, Now I, I leave my girlfriend there. Yeah, OK. And then we walk around. Right, right. right. Around. OK. All right, then. Let's leave that snake on the table. Let's go. Right, we're off to see a cobra one of the most deadly creatures on the earth get milked. And it's not by the titties, neither. It's not, it's not by the titties, neither. Why don't, we have, why don't we have those voiceovers? <laughs> <laughs> I took that on Attenborough. Here we see the cobra getting milked. And it's not by the titties, neither. <laughs> <laughs> The milking process collects the snake's deadly venom, which is then used to create an antidote. It doesn't harm the snake and can be repeated daily. They still have a shortage on antidotes, on antivenom around, so that's why they do this uh, venom milking. Right. They'll offer this to the Red Cross, and then uh, they'll make antivenom out of this. Oh, that's wow. a good thing, though, yes. isn't it? Because here in northern Thailand, 200 people die every year from snake bites. Really? Yes. So this is very important to them. Right. It's vital. So how's our crazy friend preparing the snake? He's poking it with a fucking stick. Also, I can't believe he's in shorts and flip-flops for this. By the time it gets to us, that snake is absolutely livid. That'll do. He's full of venom, that one, isn't he? That yeah. snake. Whew. Can you stay there? Fucking hell. Oh, oh my fuck God. the world. He's my friend. Not for me. That's a scary bit, that, when they do that, isn't it? Oh, fuck the world. This is mental, mate. Yeah, he knows how to handle it. He's a snake handler, look. Uh, uh, <laughs> Say what you see, Mum. Come on. Oh, Got you. While he's milking the snake, uh, they will um, clear their bowels out, so the, sometimes they will shit themselves. So um, one of us will have to plug... The, the snake or him? Uh, the snake. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm going to need one of them myself. <laughs> That was terrifying. Okay. Damn right it was terrifying. Listen to the noise I made. Are you back? Oh, God. It's like juicing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wow, God. wow, wow, look. Don't get any on your mum. I won't. When the snake bites down on the latex covering the jar, the venom is released and collected. And it's not by the titties, neither. Yeah, good job for the night time. Yeah. Want to try? No. It's an aphrodisiac, you see. It's an aphrodisiac. I absolutely believe you. I've never me. believed anyone more than my... Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> it was, my heart was, go, like, 
It's amazing to watch, but... You're so scared, though, mm. aren't you? So scared. I can't believe you were going to touch the glass. There was, there was, that was full of poison. If yeah, any of that touched you, we'd have to go to the hospital for 45 minutes. It literally minutes. went into the glass. Yeah, but what if, like, whenever a man goes to the toilet, there's always a stroke 5%. I'd say you range between 5 to 20, depending on your evening activities. Has, has anyone here ever been attacked by a snake? Yeah, one man, my friend. He locked the finger already now. And he still works here? Yeah, they still work. Right. Yeah, he is still alive too. You have time about one hour, go to see the doctor. Yeah. You need the anti venom. Well, no, and you we... were willing to go, I'll give it a go, yeah. I thought you were just going to touch it, somebody like that, and then you'd well, have to be on the phone. Um... <laughs> yeah. Of course I wasn't going to do that. What do you think, I'm stupid or something? You want to touch him? Not in any no, no, way. No, no, touch I'll touch it. Oh, you yeah. maniac. Oh, it's a different touch to the other snake. It yeah. feels differently, yeah. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I respect you, but you I know. will never touch that thing. <laughs> you Ain't going to happen. In, never going to happen. In Thailand, we are believed if you touch a snake, lucky in your life. Oh, really? If you're single, <laughs> if you're single man, you are married soon. Well, yeah, you I saw promise. me. Just think it's of a tire. Again, again, again. I'm again, done! Again, again. again, again. I'm yes. done! I touched it like I was at a American University initiation and I had to touch the head jock's cock. It was kind of that thing of like, yeah, you am I in the head. gang? <laughs> Can I join? Just want to drink beer. Your, your, your it goes like a tire. <laughs> 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 you bastard. Tonight, we're off to a haunted house. Hey, Russell. Our paranormal guide is a ghost hunter called Gordon. Well, welcome to the Sorrel House. Let's get you inside and uh, let's get you scared tonight. Ooh. The most haunted house in Savannah. Oh, wow. dear. Two things are going through my mind. Why are we here? And why is my jumper so tight? Well, they don't want to chat. It's fine. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Hello. Hello. This is Nick Wood. Come in. He's the operations manager. Hey, Nick. Hello. I'm Russell. How are you Welcome. doing? Nice Pleasure to meet you, Russell. I'm Nanette. Nanette, Hi. pleasure to have you. Thank you. Welcome to Sroweed House. Sod the ghost. This man is creepier than clown porn. The lady of the house for whom the house was designed for. She died tragically. Did she? Leaping from the upper floor balconies to her death, landing head first below down in the courtyard. Brilliant. On top of the murders, the suicides, and other deaths that have taken place on this property, mm -hmm. you compound that with the second bloodiest battle of the American Revolution, this home has seen more tragedy than most other locations in the South. Jeez. What a lovely story, everyone. Brilliant. Things may poke at you whisper in your ear. Uh, just be prepared for that. What's the worst thing that's ever been whispered in your ear? <laughs> You're hired. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that is a lie. First stop on our tour is the room every house should have, a haunted surgery. In you go, Mum. No, I don't want to go in there. You go. Now, it is in this room that many ladies have complained about having their dangly earrings played with, tugged on, or even pulled. Is that a um, euphemism or? No. I don't want to Literally have pulled ears. right out of their ears. Oh, I thought that was like an Americanism for breasts. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, the joint, oh, my dangly earrings have been played with. My dangly earrings have gone into my stomach. Now, I know ghosts aren't real. You know ghosts aren't real. But put me in a spooky dark house with some creepy guys, and I become the world's biggest coward. I'll leave you in Gordon's hands. Wow. Here we go. With the tour done, it's time to turn off all the lights. OK, did y'all want to stay together? Yeah. For a little bit Absolutely. Yes, Armed with our 80s radio, a torch, and that box that flashes when spirits are near, we're ready to find some ghosts. But only if they want to be found. If, if, if they don't, that's absolutely fine too. If there's any ghosts here, can you let us know by coming through this thing. Uh, but if you're upset, don't bother. Just be nice, guys. The tension you feel, like when Gordon's saying, speak to me, speak to me, 
and you're watching going, don't speak to him, don't speak to him, don't speak, and then they don't, and it's just the relief. Do you want to communicate with us? I wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I can resist. Gordon's leading the way. Yep. You get in the middle, and I'll protect. It's, it's like a pensioner sandwich. <laughs> with no ghosts upstairs, Gordon's taking us down. Is everyone with us? We can't leave anyone behind. We're just here passing through a couple of days, no more. Young boy and his mother looking for fun, that's all. Looking for soul food. Looking for soul food. Dancing clubs. Ha! Mysteries. <laughs> and Ludo. Let everyone in, so let's keep that exit nice and safe so we can all run out. Yeah. Here you come. Gordon wants us to meet the ghost of a young slave boy called Jacob. Use any of those devices to say that you're here. Jacob died in mysterious circumstances at a young age whilst being forced to work at Sorrel Weed House. And this is the room he makes contact in. Can you turn on the flashlight? If it does turn on, I'm going to shit my pants. <laughs> Thankfully, my pants are safe for now. Oh, my God. What? Are you getting readings? No. What? That bench has got feet. Lion's feet. Oh, don't be scared. It's scared. a lion bench. Right, enough's enough. Let's bond with Jacob. Mum? Why don't you sit next to Jacob? No. You sit next to him. I'll take a knee. Is that all right, Jacob? Whoa. Ah! Okie dokie. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> When I put my knee on the lion bench, the ghost detector started flashing like a pervert, which means Jacob's here. I'm going to put my knee on there and see if he moves. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's all about the knees. Jacob is a leg man. So we're having a bit of fun. We're not taking it seriously. Who fancies a pint? <laughs> and then, from nowhere, this happened. There was a massive bang, and not just me, not just my mum, but Ghost Hunter Gordon and the entire film crew shat their pants. Oh, crikey. Christ, alive. Something literally went bump in the night. Talk us through the possible explanations for what just happened. One, ghost. B, natural disaster. C, house is old. D, Joe. E, ghost. <laughs> ah, fuck off! <laughs> I thought that was a dog. <laughs> I thought it was a ghost dog that you read about. What was that? I don't what know. What was it? I thought it was a ghost dog. What was that? Because something just went flying was, through here. I thought it was a ghost dog. What was it? That's my only explanation. So it went through you. It was a ghost dog. I saw a ghost dog, and that's me done now, and I'm going to have to sleep with my mum again. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know you probably can't see it, and I sound a bit crazy. <laughs> I thought it was a ghost dog that you read about. But I genuinely believe I was visited by some sort of ghost Labrador. Could have been Jacob. It isn't Could just, have like, been honestly. A little child. I don't know. Well, so, it, just, that, he was riding a dog. <laughs> Something just went through here, though. Christ, no wonder they killed him. <laughs> don't be horrible. Scary little shit. Is this the coach house, what we would call a coach house in England? This is uh, a carriage. Why, why are you asking ghost? these questions oh. now? <laughs> <laughs> Just seen a ghost. So who lived here? Um, <laughs> Come on, you chickens. They, did, what? What are you talking about? The good news. Despite meeting a ghost dog, we survived our second night in Savannah. The bad news? This. I shit myself again and had to sleep with my mum. <laughs> Not ideal. Not ideal. Not what I was planning from this American trip. Now, just to demonstrate how ludicrous Mum's bucket list is, we are in the home of some of the world's most incredible and unique food, and yet she's choosing to recreate one of Scotland's most infamous dishes. But instead of having like a deep fried Mars bar, why don't we get some magic mushrooms? We'll deep fry them, slimming into you, and see what happens. Sure, then that's going to be interesting. There's every chance you could try and eat your hair, <laughs> try and talk to animals, 
uh, believe that you are a cow, start milking yourself, <laughs> try and get married to a bus. <laughs> really entertaining stuff. <laughs> Versus, I quite liked it. <laughs> All right, everyone, let's get back in the car and drive the two hours <laughs> it's taken us to get to a place that you can milk a cow <laughs> or deep fry a Mars bar. Sashimi, ramen, tonkatsu, sukiyaki, any of these things we could be eating right now, but oh no. We feel we're in a car park, um, <laughs> two hours away from fucking Tokyo, full of culture, sumo, we could be on our way to Mount Fuji, but instead we find ourselves in a car park in the only place in Japan where they'll cook a deep fried Mars bar. <laughs> but it's not about me, it's about mum's <laughs> fucking mental bucket list. <laughs> You know you like... I just, there were so many options. Yeah, but I don't want to take a magic mushroom. There's not even a fucking Mars bar in... We've just found out. What have we got? Snickers in a Milky Way. Is that, is that all right? I love Milky Way. Yeah? So that's great. I'll say this now. I've done this for you. Yeah? You've got to do something for me. OK, well... Right? When you bite into it and have the first bite, what I want you to do in front of the chef that gives it to you is an erotic dance. <laughs> OK. Of course I'll do an erotic dance. Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure doing business and with you. And you better go for it. OK. Remember, erotic is my middle name. It's Sonia. <laughs> 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 Luckily, Maiko has found us a willing tempura bar en route to the cow that we'll be milking later. So, I heard you like Mars bar? Yeah. Yep, so we're going to eat it in the Japanese way. You're going to yeah. tempura? Yeah, definitely. When Mum was young, she used to go to Mars bar parties, didn't you? Oh, wow. <laughs> that's uh, that's bad. <laughs> if you don't know what that is, look it up, but not at work. Are you excited? Yeah, I am. They look really cool. They look a bit like dog turds in the snow. <laughs> Did they? Yeah, I'm sure it tastes lovely. Here we go. Wow. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Yay. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> wonder if it would be really hot. Mmm. How does that mm. make you feel? Mmm. Yeah. Oh, don't. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yes. That's a dance. <laughs> Yes. yes. She really, she, she's a big fan. She's a big fan. Yes. It was harrowing. <laughs> oh, it was arousing. Oh. I thought it was just great. Good God. But I enjoyed it. Don't do that. <laughs> God, I've got to eat another bit. Dare I? <gasps> well, what's that? Is that the Milky Way? Mm. What, did I what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> this is awful. Come oh, please, we're going to get thrown out. Oh, that was fantastic. It was awful. And it, the, the worst thing is, it was my mistake. I told her to do an erotic dance, and she really went for it. Can we bite at this one? Sit down. I'll never forget that. The trouble is, it really made me want to do it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Blimey, Mum's lovely. sexual dance aside, it actually tastes lovely. But <laughs> is it good enough to have driven two hours 